We just saw the music video for Cuando Se Van, which centers the politics of gentrification in San Francisco. It's a beautiful homage to see many cultural and site-specific references that speak to that issue, yet honors the cultural history of the mission, such as a Rumba No Para mural that honors legendary queer DJ Chata Gutierrez, painted by Cookie Gonzalez, or the scenes of the Greywood Hotel, located in the Mission Bernal area, which uh, right up until the fire destroyed it, was an SRO hotel housing predominantly raza. Can you tell us why it was so important to highlight these topics? Yeah, I mean, specifically to the location, the placements, everything was very intentional. Um, that all the all locations were probably at the forefront of our imagining of this video. Um, I, I wrote the, the video with my director and longtime friend and collaborator, Naomi Garcia Pazmanic. Um, and yeah, so we highlight Lucas, we highlight right the, the burnt down buildings um, around, around coal at, at Tiffany and 29th and Mission. Um, all of these places are, are sites that of heartbreak, right? That we all pass by. I grew up in Bernal Heights and did school and program and work in the Mission. Um, so I walked along this corridor and every single day almost, it feels like you walk by what's changing, what's new, what's been displaced, um, where it used to be, oh, who am I gonna run into today? Who do I get to say hi to? Who do I get to connect with? Now it's uh, it's a landscape of that, that really, um, <laughs> it bears the burden of all of this violence from gentrification that we experience in so many different ways. You can really see it on the cityscape and on, from building to building. Um, but yeah, gentrific gentrification is definitely one of the main topics of Cuando Se Van. It talks about um, feeling alienated in your own community, in your own space, not knowing who are the people that occupy your neighborhood are, where they come from, when are they leaving. Um, and it also, just talks about um, hopes, these kind of drastic crisis-oriented hopes that we have for reclaiming our city. And in speaking um, with a lot of different people, a lot of different SF natives about, so when do you think you'll be able to, you know, buy a house or start a family? Or are you thinking of trying to stay in San Francisco? Or um, would you ever come home to San Francisco? Right? All of these questions that are very pertinent and that we all think about and talk about like constantly, obsessively. Um, they're the questions posed in this song and also answered by um, kind of a look towards this catastrophe as our answer for all of these questions. Si la tierra tiembla, ellos van de aquí, right? When will it be? Will it be the earthquake? Will it be some other huge storm or another catastrophic um, event that happens that kind of shakes loose all of these uh, extraneous non-community members that kind of inhibit our ability to occupy this contested area. Um, and what's so funny about I, I dropped this song on March 12th, on the day that the pandemic, 2020, the day the pandemic was declared in California. Um, and I felt so guilty. I felt so like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Like I put out this song, like what crazy thing is gonna happen in San Francisco for everyone, all the techies to leave. And then we saw within the month, we saw all of the tech offices empty. We saw the streets, empty we saw apartments vacancies houses for sale so it was this moment of like oh my gosh like i <laughs> what have i done but also like okay it wasn't the storm it wasn't the earthquake as i had thought you know there's a lot of different things that kind of protect and also can can um destabilize such a tenuous and like tricky uh situation you know how in terms of housing, in terms of culture, um, all of these different aspects. So at CLS Leadership Institute, we believe that working with scholars and developing and celebrating their personal story is a foundation for cultivating their authentic selves. Your songs are like looking through a kaleidoscope and seeing pieces of your life story that make up a whole. Does song give you freedom to express yourself personally? And what advice do you have for fellow Latinas who are developing their personal narrative? Hmm, that's a really good question. Um, I think that for sure, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know where to start if someone was like, make me a song about this. I'm like, I can only write from my perspective. I can only yeah. write about the stuff that I know about. Um, so it's, it's for sure just a little sneak into my life. And I get questions like that sometimes about like, how did you create your brand? And how did you um, go about having a con such a concise creative direction? And for me, that's just, you're looking at my life, you're looking at me, you're looking at all the people mm -hmm. that 
have surrounded me in love and in community. Um, and so that's why it's, it's very, um, consistent and it's very, I don't know, it's very cohesive, but I would say if that's something that you are struggling with, um, look to see not only what makes you different from other people who might be doing the same thing as you, but also what makes you the most happy about it, right? If it's mm, your connection to your joy. family, mm. then you might want to highlight your family in videos or in different content or write with them or engage them in your practice. If it's, um, if it's your friends, if it's your homegirls, then ask them what they think, get their opinion on things, um, draw them into the process. If it's, down to nature, if it's the, the natural world that is um, making you really excited, how are you personally furthering your relationship with nature? Are you having a garden? Mm -hmm. Are you hiking? Are you, are you studying about the native people that are coming from that land? Are you, are you learning about um, ancient practices and native practices? So I think that there's a lot to be said from really admiring, admiring and honoring the parts of you that you love. Um, mm -hmm not what makes you special to somebody else, but what makes you special to you and really right. kind of exploring that and interrogating that and just going deep into that. Mm -hmm.